welcome back to outdoor guys today i got an awesome video for you we're going to be stocking 250,000 golden shiners into the farm pond i'm so excited to do this video i'm going to link down in the video description below i did some other pond stocking videos so you guys can go check them out also let me know what types of videos you guys want to see you can go ahead and drop that down in the comment section let me know if you like these pond stocking videos i really enjoy doing them and i love growing the bass habitat i do manage this farm pond so i'm trying to grow a healthy pond for the bass and i want to get the bass as big as i can i'm in maryland so our bass are the northern strain bass it's not like the southern strain like florida and stuff like that but our bass can get pretty big um either way though I uh, wanted to let you know I got these I got 250,000 live golden shine or fry and I also got a thousand of the number four they're one and a half inch golden shiners from Anderson's minnow farm and they overnighted these minnows to me overnight I got them in a day it cost me around 400 bucks total for all of them I have stocked this pond with the number fours um, I got a thousand of them and they're inch and a half like I said that's what the Anderson Minnow Farm recommended was a thousand number fours one and a half inch per acre same with the fry 250,000 per acre you guys can head over to AndersonMinnows.com I'll put their link down in the video description below they're awesome people really nice people to talk to I, I asked them how much to put in because like i said i did this once before and uh they said it's basically up to you you get a lot of benefits to adding shiners to your pond though it'll definitely make your bass bigger but the thing is other fish will eat them too that's why i'm going to try to do this every spring um, springtime's a really good time to stock your ponds guys because the water temperature has to be below 75 degrees so it hasn't quite reached that yet here in Maryland like I said but um, we're gonna get these guys in another thing about the golden shiners is they they can spawn up to four to five times a year so they're just gonna multiply and that's the goal to have a healthy population of the golden shiners in this pond to make sure we have enough food for the bass number one and like I said some of the other fish are gonna eat them too but you really can't do anything to to stop that the golden shiners are also pretty hardy so like i said there's a couple benefits to putting them into your ponds another really cool fact about the golden shiners guys is when they do lay their eggs they can lay their eggs in a bluegill's nest so the male bluegill will actually watch over the eggs until they hatch i thought that was pretty cool how the fish work together and stuff like that but one other thing i wanted to go over check your state you know your dnr regulations and stuff because here in maryland you do have to have a permit to stock any aquatic species in any type of water whether it's private or not i did get the permit it was simple they have a list of what companies or hatcheries that you know the maryland dnr approve of and anderson minnow farms was on that list so you have to check that list too like i said depending what state but I did want to let you guys know definitely in Maryland you need to get that permit but I didn't have to pay anything for it like I said it was simple you just got to let them know what you're stocking and how many and you have to pick somebody off of that list so I'm gonna open these guys up um, enough talking if you haven't subscribed though make sure you smash that subscribe button down for me give this video a like if you liked it drop a comment down below let me know something share this video too it really helps the channel out if you guys share it, it helps it get in front of more people ring that notification bell too so you get all my new content first all right we're gonna unbox these real quick i'm gonna make sure they're all okay i'm sure they are and then we're gonna take these to the farm pond i'm gonna take you guys out there with me um, my son's gonna come with me Kason's gonna come i'm gonna bring him along i think he's more excited about this than me but either way um should be a fun video we're both pumped Let's open these boxes up and check these shiners out. Alright, let's see what's in this one. They do put instructions inside. I think it's like 15 minutes. You want to put the minnows in the pond so the water temperatures equal out so it doesn't shock them. Um, Looks like a pricing sheet and a receipt.
We're gonna put these right back. I'm just checking to make sure they're okay before we go. Yeah, these are uh, these are a one and a half inches here. They're cold. They got like a pretty sure they put ice packs in there to keep them calm, but. There they are. Okay. They look good. They're heavy. Alright, let's put these back in. Put this back. Alright, let's check out the fry. I'm pretty excited about these because I've never I've never done the fry before. Instructions included and box must be followed. You guys can see them they're real tiny you can see them but they're so small I'm gonna hold them both like this for the thumbnail. Recording? Yeah, let's keep it going. Okay. Alright, that goes here. I don't know if they're different. I don't think so. How are you gonna get them both? I'm gonna hold them each. Yeah. There you go. They're heavy. Yeah. Alright. Alright guys. Last time we put the shiners in over there. It's kind of shallow here too. So the directions say if you can't tell it's raining, um I gotta slow myself down. I couldn't bring out the big camera. So we're gonna do the GoPro. I hope this works. We're going to set the 250,000 fry live shiners and the 1,000 one and a half inch shiners into this pond for 15 to 20 minutes like the directions say and then we're going to cut them loose. You just want the water temperature to even out, you know, the, the bag temperature you want the water to match the temperature in the pond. So as soon as that happens, we're going to film us letting them loose. Maybe we'll try some fishing too, but this rain's not supposed to uh, to stop for a while. So let's go ahead and get these bags in the water. Get these guys in right here. Kind of want them floating, but not enough to float away from you. Definitely bring some mucks too. So you guys don't get your feet wet. I seen a lot of, I seen a couple bass on beds too when I was walking up here. So it's May the 7th, it's the first week of May. So the bass are definitely spawning. Last time too, I remember the bass went crazy over the shiners. You could see them coming up and busting on them. So I'm gonna try to get that with these raindrops. All right guys, stay tuned. All right guys, it's been about 20 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and let the shiners into the pond. Which one do you wanna do first? You wanna do the, little, the fry? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna do the fry first. These guys, they're so small. 
I want to make sure that I can get them all out of this bag. This bag's wet. There we go. Okay, here they go. There we go, guys. Flip it over. That's crazy. They are so tiny, especially with how cloudy it is. You're not really going to be able to see them, but. Make sure you got them all. I don't know if I can. You guys can see them. They are so tiny. There they are right there. That's so cool. All right, let's put them back. All right, grow up, get bigger, feed the bass. Just in case anything is in here, let some of that water out. I don't think so, though. All right. Try not to step on any of them. We'll move down here a little bit and do the uh, 1000 shiners. Got your net ready? Okay. Sorry about the filming, guys. I'm doing the best that I can filming by myself today. So, all right, let's get these guys in. Huh? Let me see you in that bud. Bring your bucket over. I don't think we need that many. I don't think we need that many either. Don't need that many. <laughs> Here you go. Got them all in? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna release these guys. You ready? Hey, here they go, guys. They're all kind of right here by my feet. I'm not going to move. Go ahead, guys. Guy's not doing too good. There you go. Oh, we got some life in him. Trying to step over here a little bit. Some beds in here. I'm trying not to step on too. Try to help some of these little guys. Go ahead. Looks like we got a couple having a hard time. I don't know if they'll come back or not, but it's not that bad out of how many we got. So there's like one, two, three, four, five. There's like six dead right there. They might come back though. Some of them I touched and they did have some life in them, so that's just part of it. That's gonna happen. Even the dead ones, fish will eat them. So, you can kind of see some of them coming up to the surface, making them ripples. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you want to fish one? 
Okay. I feel like I know how to put it in. What do we just like put him through his head? How's he doing? How's the ones in the bucket doing? They're so, they're, they like it in there. These guys are so little. Alright, he's still alive. He's good. Let's get some right over here. Here you go. Watch your bobber. Let it sit. Yes, let it sit. He'll move around. We got some swimming up in here, shallow. Looks like they're holding kind of to the rocks and stuff up shallow, trying to get adjusted to this water. I see a bass that's got a shiner right there by your bobber, bud. Watch it. Okay? <laughs> Seen him flash on it. Is that guy going crazy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's getting. Yeah, they're doing pretty good in here. All of them look good. Oh, that was Wait, a bass. Look, that? look, yeah, that was awesome. Did you see that? Bass came right out the water for that shine. Did you film it? Uh, yeah, I got oh, it. I knew you were we need them to do that on your bobber. I might have to adjust your bobber a little bit because we're fishing kind of shallow. It's a bass right here, Case. Here, let me put you out just a little deeper. Oh, that's another hit over there. Just put it right there. Like, just put it right there and you'll eat it. Ooh. Your shiner's going. Hold on, I really want to try. I want to try this. I, I know how to. Go ahead. Okay. Pull my rod. The trick is you want to try not to kill it because you want it swimming out there. Look at this big guy. Got a big one? Oh yeah. yeah, that's a nice one. Just like throw his head in there. Well, if you don't want to get his brain, so if you uh, like here. go ahead, yeah, go ahead. All right, good, good job. Here, let him go. He's on. Take get ready, it. get ready. Go ahead, go ahead. Go. Yeah. Got him? I don't know. Huh? No. You had him. Your papa was under. What did you get your did he get your bait? No, I saw him. I saw him once. <laughs> I, 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 there he is. Is that him? <laughs> no, no, that's a different one. I swear, <laughs> like it reeled in. I saw him on there still. Okay, I'm gonna. You gotta. Why'd you stop reeling? Cause he. It's like. Huh? I don't know. All right, all right, hold on. I didn't know if he was on or not. Like. All right. It's so easy for it to come out. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's tricky. You don't like, want to pull real hard either. They're like so small, it will just like... I'm going to try his head. Just his bottom lip. Okay. Yeah, I'm going back. I guess you're getting destroyed. This is where you want under, so... One just got eaten. We need yours to get pulled under. They're getting them all, it's all along here. Layer. Huh? I feel, I feel like it's better if you pass over there. Ah, right, you want me to go over there? Yeah, I'll just... Reel it in. There you go. Oh, he ate it. <laughs> he ate it. Yeah, he did. No, he didn't. He missed it. He really? missed it. Yeah, he missed it. That was a close one. He took it and let it go, didn't he? It was bad and kind of good. Because he didn't get the bait in, but he got off. Wow. Swirling. He's about to get in. You can see swirls everywhere. That's why I did the fry, too. Because oh they. Okay, you know what? I'm going to. They right eat. There. You just got to be patient, Case. Just leave it. They eat so many of these things, I just don't know how many actually last.
They are eating. There's no question about that. Really? <laughs> really, man? I tried, I tried to they get it. They don't eat the hook. Is, well, he's still Yeah, you gotta let him take it longer. I set the hook too quick. I just, this, I, would, I wanted to see. This guy is so lucky to, for his body still to be in one, like one shape right now. Here. Okay. So every time I look away and look back, it's down. I don't know why. What if I just cast this right there? Oh. They're gonna get it. Okay, I'm gonna reel it in, okay? If it's up to you, that's your call. <laughs> I've seen it. There. I've seen it. It's gonna happen one day. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that was a big one. It sounded like. All right, you gotta leave them soak now. I, I don't think it's helping us pulling them in and See out that guy ninety right there? times. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna reel it in. Nah, leave it. Really? We can't keep doing that. You ain't been out there that long. Where you want to put it now? You want to move it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I'll just, I will just go somewhere. Leave it, leave it. There's a bass on it. Leave it. Really? He got it. He got it. Get him. Get him. Get him, Case. Keep reeling, Case. Keep reeling, bud. Hold on. Get him, Dad. <laughs> Let's go. There you go. He has red eyes. Yeah, it's a spotted bass. Oh, he just bit me. My hands are like so cold. Got him. Another one just got eaten. Okay, hold him easy. Got him? Ooh. Get him, yeah, get him, hold him tight because he's feisty. Hold his lip tight. Release him easy right here. Don't fall in. I won't. There he goes. And he got, at least he got a shiner for the hook. All right, you want to catch more? Or are you yeah. done? I catch more. That's good right there. Go ahead. Give him a cast right out here. Out? Yeah, not hard. Remember, just a nice, easy cast because it's tiny. Okay. Good. Are we going to fish that side? We'll see. As long as the rain holds off. It's all going to depend on that. We'll do it as long as we can. If it goes like super hard, Oh my gosh, it's coming for me. <laughs> yeah, your bobber's moving, that's good. You got a good shine. Wait till it goes all the way under, okay? I will. I, I, your you fish me? is swimming around, that's all that's happening. But if it gets real crazy, that means the bass is close. But just be patient, wait for the bobber to go all the way under, and then get him. I can feel him moving. That's good. Oh, he what missed. That? that was a bass. He just tried to get that shiner right there. Yeah, I know he he missed it. <laughs> yeah. I saw the shiner jump and I was like, uh -huh. it's happening. Easy. There you go. Come here. Oh, Ooh, right gosh. over there. Right near the island. Right here. That's so awesome. <laughs> He's chasing that Shiner. Shiner made it. He made it all the way back to the bank. Shiners are fast. There you go. Good one, Dad. Come here. Stay <laughs> Just safe. moved him a little bit. That's a bass. Okay. That's a regular large mouse, though. Well, is it as nice when it's harder to see when he's on the ground? Yeah, hold him. Can I eat this one? No. Hold him right and get him back in the water. Okay. Got him tight? Hold him yeah. under his belly. Under his belly. I know. Here, look this way. Turn this way. What? <laughs> so everybody can see. Okay, get him back. Nice and easy, right here. There he goes, gone. Did you see how I moved it a little bit? Yeah. And then he chased. Dude, I don't know, why is the water so warm? Well, it's been warm until his last day or two. I think he's moving. There you go, that was a bass. Well, get ready, let it go all the way under. Let him take it, let him take it, let him take it. Get him, get him, get him. What? 
Le all right, leave it there. Leave it there. You're... Am I still on? Yeah. Okay. Your fish is still on. Hopefully he came back. You want to check him? Yeah. All right, leave yeah, it there. Still on. I still on. You seen him? Yep. Okay, good. He's taken. Watch for this. You ready? Oh, I'm nibbling. I got some. Let him home. take it. Let him take it. All the way under. There we go. Oh, you got a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'll, okay, just stop. Stop it. Oh, I see it. I, th I can get this one out. Let me help you. You got him? Yeah, I got it. Alright. See? Okay. It, it wasn't All right. in there hard. Alright, go ahead. Get him back in. See it? Got it. So I feel like it's easier with the bobber or the shiners. Because you can... They can like rip it off with the shiners really easy. Mm -hmm. You know? Oh. Get him. Get him, Case. There we go. Got him? Yeah. What you got? I don't know. It's a crappie. Woo! <laughs> I never caught one of these things. I don't want to hook anything, though. I got it. Let me get okay. it. His mouth is tiny. Hold on. Can I take a picture of this guy? Yeah, watch. You got the line in your hand. Oh. Watch what you're doing. There you go. Oh, one's getting it right destroyed. here. Hold him up so I can see him. There you go. You got him? Okay. okay, hurry up. Get him in. Easy. Nice and easy. Go ahead. Over here more. Well, good? No. Show him where he needs to be. <laughs> okay, I can't get him. Alright, I'll get him. Okay, there he goes. He's, he's good. Yeah, he's good. Alright. Okay. I haven't caught a bluegill in a while because I really haven't been fishing. Want to go to that back corner? Sure, because there's more bass down there because of the shade. This is not like trees. Well, there is, but there's not like, you know, trees that you can really get stuck on on this side. Already? Let him take it. Let him take it. Let him take it. Let him take it. What happened? He let it go? Yeah. Or do you think he got him? I think he got your bait. What? Let it go. That? Let it go. That was a fish. That was definitely He's a fish. One. All right. Let him take it. Let I him am. take it. Okay. Bring him in. Is he still on? He's on. Whoa, you got a fish. You got a fish. You got a bluegill. Bluegill? I haven't seen you in so long. Hold on, let me film this one. Nice size bluegill. Pretty bluegill, too. Okay. Jeez, that thing's hopping all over the place. They're crazy. They're slimy. Hold them tight. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you can grab them by the lip, but don't hold them. You gotta hold them straight up and down. You got a nice bluegill. Let's go ahead and put him in. There you go. I think you had him on the whole time. This is where the monsters are. Oh, I feel like that's just me. Or it's the shiner. In summer. <laughs> What's happening? Something's got it. Go. Go. Keep keep reeling. Just keep pressure on him. I think you got he's a bass. On. Yeah, you got a bass. Is he pulling? Yeah, he still got it. Alright, bring him in. Come on. Alright. <laughs> it's a little one, but. Hold on. I'm gonna film. It's just a little guy. Yeah, you know how to hold a bass. Go ahead. Yeah, get him back in. Oh, 
Go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Come on, let's go. Right back he went. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Let him take it. Let him take it. Why are we holding? <laughs> You got him? You got you got him. What is it? I what do we know. got? But I don't think it's all that good. <laughs> it's a crappy again. <laughs> it's a big one. It's a oh. nice size. You want a picture real quick? There you go. I gotta put him back. Go ahead. Hold on, Dad, can I cast? I wanna cast this out. Yeah, there's a bass right here, though. I need glasses like that. You gotta give me glasses. Look at that, right there. One just got destroyed. Look, there's big... Oh I don't God, know how big one? the bass was, but yeah, there's a bunch of shiners right here. They're, they're close. Look at the horse coming to us. Yeah, I'm gonna go see them. <laughs>